Welcome back to Broncos and Parts Garage. My name is Chris. Today I've got a guest mechanic named Brad. He has his own channel called Riding Shotgun Adventures. Tell us a little bit about Brad. Well, Riding Shotgun Adventures, we've got a stretched B2, 1990, V8 swapped, Atlas Trans, four link rear suspension, and we do a lot of rock crawling with it. Uh, we go to all the local parks around here in Michigan, Rocks and Valleys, Bundy Hill, the Mounds, Holly Oaks. Uh, we just came back from Silver Lake Sand Dunes, had some fun there. Uh, and today we're going to replace some door lock actuators in Chris's 96. Check out his video, or excuse me, check out his channel. There'll be a link in the video description below. And as Brad said, we're going to put some actuators in this thing. Right now, uh, I'm going to skip doing a video of taking the door panels off because I've already done one of those. That will be in the description below. We'll put a link. So let's just get some tools and get started. Once you've got your door panel removed, the next step will be removing your vapor barrier. We're gonna do that right now. Window was down to get the door panel off, makes it easier. And now we need the window up so we can get into the actuator area. The next step will be removing the window track bolt right here. It's a 7 16 That'll swing the track out of the way. And we're going to remove the harness from the door, the body of the door, as well as the track on the inside using these pry tools. I'll put a link in the description below for these as well. So we'll pop this out. Try not to bend your door body. Get my hands in here. We'll pry this one out. And then we'll loosen that up. Go ahead, Brad. I'm going to let Brad get his hands on the actuator inside the door body. My hands are just too big, so I'm going to let him take it from here and I'll get behind the camera. We got the harness loose. We got the window track bolt out so we can move that around and inside, give us more room to work and get the, the actuator out. I'm going to drill out the rivet that holds it right now. And then I'm going to swing it up and out and unclip it from the latch. And then we're going to go over to the bench and, and measure parts. So the actuator is right here. And what I'm going to do is swing it up and unfish it because it's hooked onto that part of the latch. Fish it. We can pull it out of the door. Use our fancy trim tool to unplug it. And undo it here. And now we're going over to the bench to transfer this bracket to the new one. So what we've got here is the door lock actuator. We picked these up from Jeff's Bronco Graveyard. Um, I'll put a link in the description below so you can get these parts. Here's the OEM style. Uh, first thing we're going to do is get the correct size uh, actuator arm. And that one matches right here. So it's just a matter of sliding it <clears throat> this way. Sliding it in and clipping it into place. And we're going to leave that alone. Now we're going to separate this bracket from the OEM actuator and then reattach it to our new actuator. So I'm going to use a screwdriver for this. And really it's just a matter of prying this back off these pins and I'm going to hold it with my thumb and pry this one and get that off and it should be popping that right off. We're going to take this and set this aside and you can see what 26 years of, of Michigan weather has done to these actuators. Now we're going to take this OEM bracket and install it on the aftermarket actuator and it really is just a matter of popping it back in place right there and I've got it on both sides. Now it's ready to go back in. So before I turn the reins over to Brad, I want to let you know, you can get these rivets on Amazon. They come in a 10 pack. They're about $17. We will put a link in the description below. I've used other rivets, but they don't have a head this big. They don't have this neural edge that'll grab onto your uh, rivet gun. Normally you guys will want to grab your, your manual rivet gun. This isn't going to work, especially if you're doing it by yourself, because you need to uh, put pressure to this bracket to the inner, of the door, inner of the door body. Uh, to get the rivet to work, so you can't be pressing this and squeezing this. So we'll put a link in the description below too for one of these pneumatic rivet guns. Let's get back to the project. We got the proper hook on here. I'm going to put it back in the door, fish it through. Don't forget to hook up the electrical connector because once you put it in there, it's really tough to get to it. All right, 
Hit it. Yep. And we're solid. The next thing we're going to do is reattach the window slide bracket. But before that, you want to make sure that you get all your harnesses plugged back in. You have one here. This harness goes to the actual window slide bracket. You want to make sure that we didn't show it, but we did attach the harness to the bottom of the bracket. You can take a look inside that door. So right, right here where my thumb is. Going up? Yep. So that's where the other push pin is that holds it to the window regulator bracket. And now we'll get this bracket installed. You always want to hand tighten these first if you don't want to strip out those bolts. <laughs> We've got the actuator in. Uh, prior to the install, this lock uh, would go up very slow. I'd usually have to hit the button twice to get it up. Go ahead and hit it now, Brad. Now it goes up very strong. Again, we got these at Jeff's Bronco Graveyard, so hit them up. I'll put a link in the description below. We're not gonna show you how to put your door panel back on because we've made videos for those in the past and there will be a link in the description below. Uh, but that's all we've got for you right now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around this long into the video. I do want to give another shout out to Jeff's Bronco Graveyard. They did have the actuators in stock at a good price. Again, links in the description for everything you saw us use. And I want to thank Brad again uh, for helping out and his wife Mackenzie for uh, working behind the camera for a few minutes during the video. And Brad, yep, check us out, Riding Shotgun Adventures. We'll see you next time. Good? Good, nice.